most of the homes or households of Sartene have fully depend on, on, on the barrier reef. For a long time, most of the villagers have made a living from fishing. Maybe like 50 years before. I remember they have here a, a cooperative. And then when I, I started very young, from 14, I started and my father was fishing before that. From their traditional built sailboats, the fishermen have always fished the entire coast of Belize. From north through south, the fishermen fish. And some of them, they cross to the atolls. And this, this is a, like, let us say, traditional fishing. Even those who do not take up the traditional lifestyle still make their income from the sea. Approximately uh, like 80% 80, 80 of, of Sartineja, the village of Sartineja, relies on, on fishing. I was, I was also a fisherman and now uh, I still rely on, on, the, on, the, on the reef, the bar reef, because I take tours to the bar reef. With their close relationship to the reef, certain hands quickly notice any changes to the fish and corals. Pues como dije anterior, como esposa de pescador, pues sí hay una diferencia. Porque antes mi esposo pues traía más, se hacía más dinero que ahora. Se ha bajado. Fishermen can tell you exactly why they are making less money. Years ago you could see the um Anywhere you drop in the water, you would see a lot of fish, a lot of lobster, a lot of cones. But comparing from those years up to now, the things is really, really bad. Sometimes you could spend the whole day with one lobster, two cones, and that means that everything is decreasing and decreasing year after year. There are many reasons why the reef is not providing as much for the fishing families. Porque, pues, Yo pienso que porque ya no hay producto como antes y hay mucho más pescadores que antes. It's in too much fishing, mm -hmm. fishermen from all different parts. For example, in years before only like San Pedro, Kikakar mm -hmm. and Sarteneja were, were doing fishing. And right now you find fishermen coming from different parts of the country, mm -hmm. of Belize. I, for example, San Esteban, mm -hmm. and Libertad, and you say in, in the West, Cayo, Benque. But people are also not sticking to the regulations. They are doing by, bad things like, for example, picking up the small conks and maybe spearing like a parrot fish. But that is because they are not aware. They are not aware that this harms the fish stocks for the future. There are also other pressures on the reef. Developing the, the, the uh, country, and by cutting the mangroves, you're you know, destroying the, 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 the uh, coastal areas. The, the erosion of the, of, the, uh, of the soil into the water, so the, the water gets get cloudy, and it's very bad for the, for the corals. So uncontrolled development also harms the reef and the fish. Sartenehans have been thinking how these many problems can be solved. Our plan, our vision is to, is to create alternative, to, to create a second job for our fishermen. So that, that income could happen in not only fishing, it's hard, it's hard and I know it's hard to, to a fisherman to become farmer or to become a, a carpenter, but they, they, they could do it. Pues yo pienso que cuidándolo, y creo que, que si hubieran otros trabajos, el pescador pues no solo va a depender de, de, de la pesca. Some fishermen are already finding new opportunities in Sartenea. Yes, I have a fisherman from about 12, 15 years. I am working on the sea and I see that the lobster is not the same as many years. So this like opened a, a door to me to make, bring more income to my family. So we are working together with the agriculture department to make this thing happen. And then we could see that many fishermen now are interested to come to us.
<laughs> because they are saying that this is not a joke, this is not a game, this is something that is happening now. <laughs> oh yes, we are we're still inviting fishermen that they want to come and join the organization. They are welcome, they are invited to come. Yeah, this is a good project. The women have also been busy finding new sources of income. I would like you to, um, to meet my, my homestays. Excellent. Okay. Hello. 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 Um, he is um, Matt. 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 And he is Zach. Excellent. State program. We have given us some loans for us to improve and prepare this for our homestay, for them to be, to be feel and to feel more comfortable and to feel at home. I bought my these two beds, mm -hmm. um, the the mattress, newly mattress, um, and um, my court, my set of beds and the sheets, the curtains, and the hammocks. The homestay program does not only offer like the, the, this opportunity to have um, the visitors or the volunteers at home, but we, it also offers um, opportunities to, to the other women, like to, be, to do the cooking, to be a cook, and in that way they also are making um, money to find another resource, to get other resource, and for us to, be, to sustain our family, and not only be dependent on our fishermen, as well as providing other ways of making an income, it is also important to educate the villagers. Preservation is one of our major goals on all this, this tour guiding. And uh, we want uh, to preserve our barrier reef for our future generations. We can do that um, by, by educating our children from school so that they get aware of where we are trying to go. Why is it important for us to preserve our barrier reef? When measures are taken to conserve the reef, it is important that everyone understands how they will benefit. Bring information. Because if we start to doing something, no? In creating parks, reserve, and protecting and not making aware the fishermen in why this is happening, then we find a conflict in between fishermen and the other parts. Reserves need to be managed properly so that the fish can reproduce there and spread to areas that are fished. Development also needs to be controlled. It's, it's very important to um, for the fishermen to the fishing is very important for the tour guides to the tour guiding. It's very important you know, for the tourism to be developed, but in a sustainable way. Sartinehans know the situation and are taking steps to build awareness of the barrier reef. This is our second trip here to Bacalar Chico and one of our main goals is to educate, you know, uh, fishermen wild students. Uh, as well as tour guides like we are and trying to build that awareness of how important is the barrier reef for our community certainly. The barrier reef is something for all Belizeans to be proud of. Sartenehans hope that it can be looked after for the future. Ask everybody, especially the fishermen, to protect it, take care, good care of it for our grandchildren to see it and enjoy it as we see it today because for me it's very amazing, beautiful, can express it. Um, it's our heritage site and we want our parents to keep it for us and us to keep it for our grandchildren. In this community many people when they hear the word conservation they would think no fishing. That's not what SACD wants. We want to promote the truth, which means conservation says go ahead and fish, but there are always better ways to do it. There are best practices so that we ensure the sustainable use of these natural resources. Preserve, not to preserve is to, to keep something maybe forever. Yeah. Mm -hmm.